Hello, hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having an awesome day, a great start to the week. It is a happy Monday here. I don't know about you guys, but my week's starting off great. I had off on uh, Thursday and Friday, so there was a lot of work to catch up on, but feel good about what I got done today and uh, what I've got started on ready for tomorrow. And I'm even more excited, though, about what I've got to open up today with all of you guys. So I have here something a little bit different than the usual battle styles. We've got the Venusaur VMAX Battle Box. And this is an awesome product. I love that they opened up with the Venusaur and the Blastoise over the Charizard because I, don't, I, I like Charizard, don't get me wrong. I'm chasing that shiny Charizard, but I feel like every other product has got a Charizard in it. So I love that they're giving some love to some of the other Gen 1 starters. Blastoise is in particular my favorite, but I am also a fan of Venusaur. I know that uh, some of my close friends are also big fans of Venusaur, so I'm super excited for this. I'm glad that they gave him a Gigantamax version in the game to go with the Charizard. And for those that don't know, he was introduced with the Gigantamax form, um, also for Blastoise, in the Isle of Armor. DLC for Sword and Shield. So when you buy the DLC and you go to the new Isle of Armor, one of the first things that you get to do is actually take your pick between a Venusaur or, or sorry, a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle, and whoever you uh, choose to join your team can then have access to the Gigantamax version when you they fully evolve. And this collection box in particular is super cool because it's got the foil promo card of the Venusaur. It's got the jumbo version of the Venusaur. It's got four TCG booster packs. Um, so I think it back in there, there's probably a sun and moon in the very back. There's two battle styles, and I'm not sure what the one in between is. Maybe Darkness Ablaze would be my guess. Um, and then these are such a, a super cool addition. They didn't have to do it, but I love that they do it. Um, so I'm excited to take these out and get a look at them. These awesome sleeves that they came up with for the Venusaur Gigantamax. And there's 65 of them, so you can sleeve up a whole deck with those. So now, I, oh, and I also forgot to mention, I'm going to open up two additional Battle Styles blisters um, after the box, just to make sure we get that six packs a video total that I like to try and keep up with. Oh, sorry, I'm slowing down just taking in the beauty of the artworks on this box. I'm almost upset to, to open it because of how nice all of it looks. I've had it on display in my apartment for the last week or two since I've got it. Here you can see the back. Get solar powered with Venusaur VMAX. They've got some uh, description about the Venusaur, it's, it says down here in the bottom left what you can expect to get inside. These are, I don't know what they're retailing at for. I got it on eBay for about 50 bucks a piece. Um, actually, maybe it was 45 because I think it was $90 and I got a lot of this one and the, bat, and the Blastoise VMAX box. Don't worry, I definitely will be opening up the Blastoise VMAX box on stream. Not today, but another day for sure. For all you guys who are a fan of the Blastoise and want to see, see what's inside there. So, I'm starting it off. I'm opening it up. I feel bad doing it, but I got to do it for the channel. I got to open up these products so all you guys can see. And maybe some of you guys will go out and pick it up yourselves. So, I'll put the box over there. First, I want to show this jumbo card because I love these jumbo cards. When I originally saw these before I started getting into collecting, I didn't think I was going to be as much of a fan of the jumbo cards as I actually am. Um, I, I don't know why, but I just thought they looked a little weird. I was like, man, who's going to collect the jumbos? And it turns out me. I'm going to collect the jumbos because I love these. Seeing they're, It's bigger than my whole hand. So see if I can get a better side-by-side -side where <laughs> this is a big card. 
but it does a great job of getting all of the detail. It looks great as a hollow. The entire card is holographic. There's some texture to it. This is definitely an awesome, awesome. No matter what's in the rest of these packs that I'm gonna open up, I'm considering already the box a hit just alone for how good those promos are. Then I'm gonna show a close up of just the individual promo card. So I'm definitely going to sleeve this up, double sleeve it, top loader, the whole shebang. I wonder if this is even a card worth grading. I think any of the starter and their evolutions are definitely worthwhile cards to collect. But the centering on this is looking pretty good, top to bottom and left to right, on the front at least. And I'm gonna take a look at the back. It's a little bit thick on the bottom, kind of hard to tell, but in person it's a little bit easier to tell. It's a little thicker on the bottom, but it still could be within the 40 to 60 range that uh, could qualify for a 10. I don't see any damage. I don't see any whitening. The corners look evenly rounded. So I think this is a great condition promo and definitely something that I'm going to be keeping in the collection. And so for those of you that are interested in the code cards, I'll make sure you guys can get a look at this one, focus it up on the screen so you guys can see that code. And then I'm going to show these sleeves. I'm going to keep them sealed just until I have an actual deck that I want to use them on. Um, just to keep them preserved in, in good condition. But I do like to collect and save my cards uh, sleeves, especially from the Dragon Ball Super game. Um, when I played that game, I collected a lot of really cool artwork sleeves. So I think th those are always fun to keep and save, even if you don't keep on playing the game or collecting the cards. You never know when, when the card sleeves are going to come in handy. So that is an awesome addition that comes with the box. And so now... I'm going to get into the packs, what I think most of you guys are here for. Ooh, we got one each of the Rapid Strike and the Single Strike artwork for the Battle Styles. I'm going to do those last along with the Blisters, and I'm going to start off with... Okay, so it was a Darkness Ablaze pack, so I'm going to start off with the Darkness Ablaze. I actually didn't collect this set, so... I'm not off the top of my head sure what the big hitters are. If anyone in the chat is watching and knows what's a big chase card in here, I'd love to uh, hear. And maybe you guys have pulled some cards from this set. If you have, what's the most exciting card that you've pulled from Darkness Ablaze? I think for all the moderns, it's four to the back, so hope I'm right. At least for the Sword and Shield era, it's been like that. We're starting off with an unlisted Leaf Energy. Shout out to Unlisted Leaf. You guys haven't checked out his YouTube channel. Definitely check that one out. He, he's got some awesome videos and uploads, especially with, I love the ones with the heart monitor. So I hope one day I can make edit, uh, videos like him. Kabu. Turbo Patch. Dartrix. Sinistee. Feeboss. Looks like that Feeboss is drowning. Maybe just using the splash attack. Oh, that's kind of interesting. His one ability is just nap. Heal 20 energy from this Pokemon. Pessimian. This was a cool Pokemon. I was a fan of this guy. I think he was one of the Pokemons that had two, uh, like two different evolution forms and you could evolve into either one. Fletchling. Wimpod, and I think our next card is going to be the Reverse. Ooh! Reverse Leopard. That's a nice artwork on him. It looks like he's almost outside of uh, some kind of like Coliseum or something. Now let's see what we got for the rare Golurk, non-hollow. See if we can get a little focus up on that artwork. Sometimes the camera wants to cooperate, and sometimes it does not. But that's a pretty cool card. 
So now I'm going to show the code. For those of you that are interested in the code cards, feel free to grab this one. And if you guys are redeeming these co codes, please let me know what you guys are getting out of there. If you're getting any awesome hits, I would love to hear. I love to hear about anyone's awesome pulls, or maybe you've beaten a boss recently in a video game, or. Uh, Although I don't encourage betting, maybe you uh, bet your friend some push-ups or something that a, a fight was going to go a certain way and you got that prediction right. I don't condone betting with money on the fights, but you can always bet for fun. So now we're going to do a sun and moon pack. So I'm pretty sure anytime you get one of those, uh, get like a, a box like this where it's got multiple packs in it, if it doesn't show it up front, like you can't see the, completely the pack art, just assume that it's sun and moon because they're stuffed in these packs in everything. But I don't say that to complain because it's actually a nice thing when we get to see a little bit different artwork from the usual. And there are some cool artworks in this set and some cool cards to potentially chase. I know that there is the Umbreon and the Espeon GX cards. So those are definitely awesome pulls to potentially get in here. How? Dark Tricks? I think that's our second Dark Tricks, but diff from different set. Pokeball. Surskit. Fomantis. Morlul. Sandy Gast. Dratini. Oh, I haven't seen the Dragon type in a really long time. It's a nice artwork on the Dratini just hanging out in the Coral Reef. Is this the reverse? It is. Ooh, Alolan Rattata. And now let's see what is the non hollow Palisand. I'm actually not familiar with this Pokemon because I didn't play the Sun and Moon Era game. If you guys played the Sun and Moon Era game and recommend it, also please let me know about that in the comments below. Um, I've recently started playing Black and White 2, which. I didn't play that game when it came out. This is actually my first time playing it. So I've been having a blast. I actually re am really, really enjoying Black and White 2. Maybe that's something that if you guys would be interested in watching, I could even stream for you guys. I tried doing a Nuzlocke challenge of it, and I definitely underestimated the Nuzlocke because I failed on the third gym multiple times and had to reset the game a couple times because my water starter, I went with the Oshawott, he was having a little bit of trouble with that third bug gym until I figured out I can go to Route 4 right above the town and there is a chance to encounter a Darumaka, which is an awesome fire type Pokemon. And then after I trained him up a bit, he started just fire punching and knocking out that whole bug type gym. So that was my only way to beat it. it took me a couple resets to figure it out. So um, if watching some Nuzlocke content of Pokemon Black and White 2 would be of interest to you guys. Let me know about that too, and maybe I can uh, boot it up and stream the next time I play. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it a, a lot. I think actually I, I I just beat the fourth gym even, and I I feel bad that I uh, missed out and didn't play this game when it came out because it's, it's something too that I really like about it in particular is that it's very battle heavy. I feel like every 10 steps I'm running into another trainer and there's just so many of them. They might not have a lot of Pokemon. A lot of them only have one or two Pokemon. But it is nice to just get those constant encounters. It's very high encounter um, density. And uh, that makes me something that I really enjoy about the Pokemon games. Is battling a lot. Unlisted Leaf. So now this is a battle styles pack. This is the single strike Urshifu. We have... We haven't gotten, sorry about that, we haven't gotten a hollow yet, or a V or anything, out of this box. So let's see if these last two battle styles from the box can come through with something big. Alt Art Tyranitar after the buffet is definitely my number one chase from this set right now, so that would be incredible if we could pull that. Heat more. Fero. Escape Rope. Blip Bug. Silicobra, Houndour, Lickitung, running tongue out on the beach. 
He's ready for the weekend already, and it's only Monday. Horsey, another Gen 1. I love that artwork on the horsey. I think this is the reverse, maybe? Ooh, reverse clay doll. I'm almost positive we got this one in reverse, but it's a nice one to get. It's always nice to get a non-hollow rare reverse. And then let's see what we got behind it. Do we have a hollow? Do we have a V? Potentially even a V Max? A rainbow card? A gold card? Ooh, hollow cherim. I'm actually, to be honest, not sure what generation this Pokemon is originally from either. If you guys do know, please let me know in the comments below. I don't think he's Sword and Shield era originally, but maybe he is. All right, so we did get a hollow. I will show code card. This is for the Battle Styles pack. And then I don't know if I showed the code card for the Sun and Moon, so if I didn't, Apologies if I did. Apologies as well. I'm doubling up on it. Don't, don't want to miss any of them. So better to double up than potentially miss something that you guys could get a pull out of. And please, if you guys are enjoying watching this, please like and subscribe. So that helps me a lot. And I can keep pushing out more and more Pokemon openings or other types of content. If you guys are interested in um, watching me stream games or um, just even play something completely different. I really want my current goal is to get to 1000 subscribers so that I can do polls and interact with you guys more. And that'll help me um, make better decisions on what type of content you guys actually want to watch. Darkness Energy, Ndidi, Phoebe, Carnivine, Esper, and I definitely want to start doing some giveaways as well, so if I can get more subscribers, if I can get to that 1000 mark, that'll help me be uh, able to make more posts and engage with you guys and potentially do some giveaways, so maybe I can uh, give away some of these duplicate cards that I'm pulling. I'm getting a lot of... Uh, rare cards. Um, the other day I actually pulled two gold Eternatus VMAXs that I already had one of, so those would potentially be the types of cards that you guys could get from a giveaway. Galarian Slowpoke, Corfish, Salandit, Reverse Gliscor, and let's see what we got behind it. This is the last pack from the box. non hollow Phalanx. So, not big hits from the packs inside the box, but like I said before, I'm really happy with, I feel like the box, just in and of itself, getting that awesome promo in the jumbo promo is almost like getting, like no matter what, walking away from the box with an awesome hit. So I'll show that again for you guys that are watching, the Venusaur VMAX promo card in his Gigantamax form. I love the design for it. They went over the top with the tree on his head and it's just giving him shade. He's overgrown with the vines. We've got the sleeves to go with it. The Gigantamax artwork. And then we got the Jumbo promo card, which I'm definitely going to be putting in my first partner's pack binder, which I use to store all my other Jumbo cards. So I am stoked. Honestly, with just the sleeves and those promo cards is worth the price of admission alone. But I will show you guys the code card from the last pack so you guys can scan that one. I'm going to do two more packs so we can end it off at six and then I am going to crush the gym. And maybe after that, play some Pokemon Black and White too. If you guys would be interested in watching me stream that, let me know. So this is the Tyranitar Blister, but Empoleon Pack Sleeve Artwork. Let's see if we can get something big. Oh man, a, a rainbow VMAX of either of the Urshifus would be an incredible pull. I want those so bad. The single strike Urshifu 
artwork definitely the alt art one is that that's another one that i really really want to pull from this the gold hound doom there's so many cards in this set that i am still chasing all right lightning energy gliscor swordbert and shieldbert Firo, Pawniard, Mankey, got some Gen 1s in this set, Sizzlepeed, Baltoy, Timber, I think this next one's going to be the reverse, ooh, reverse Cacnea, I did not have this one actually, so I did have the reverse Cacturn, I did not have the reverse Cacnea. So this is an awesome pull for the Master Collection. So we walked, we walked away from this video with at least one more card added to the Master Collection. Now let's see. Do we have something behind? Do we have a hit? Is there a V, a VMAX, a rainbow card even? Ooh, non-holo Salazzle. But I'm still happy with that reverse Cacnea. So one step closer to catching them all and getting the master set completed. Then I will show the code card and then we will be on to the last pack of the video for the day. So there we got that code card. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who stopped by and watched. I really do appreciate your guys' time. I hope that you guys are enjoying the videos and enjoying the card pulls. And we are on to the last pack. Can we get a last pack magic? That would be awesome. So the Tyranitar Blister, the Tyranitar Pack Art, I would love to pull the Alt Art Tyranitar out of this pack right here, live on stream with you guys. Can we do it? Whew. Lightning energy. Dewblade. I feel something. There's something here. This pack feels a little heavy, so I, I think we got something here. Dewblade. Cacturn. Rapid Strike style mustard. Is there a Rapid Strike Rainbow Urshifu behind? Fomantis. Remoraid. I love this artwork. We got the Octillery in the background showing the Remoraid how it's done. His pre-evolution form. This is how you stack up. Stack up. Spiro. Pachirisu. All right, we're getting close. We're getting down to the wire of the last pack of the video. Cherubi, I think, is the next card the reverse. It is. This is awesome. I don't think I had the Conkledor either. So the last two packs, we got two hits the, the out of the reverses for the Master Collection. So this is an awesome, awesome pull. The reverse Conkledor. A non-hollow rare. We got it in the reverse. Let's see. What did we get behind? And the last card of the last pack of the video. Ooh! We got a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. That is an awesome pull. Almost summoned in by the Rapid Strike Mustard from the same pack. He trained him just for this video. Just for this pack. So I am, I am stoked with that poll. We've already got this guy, but I needed a second one for my master collection just because of the way that I'm laying it out. I need doubles of all the Vs and Vmaxes. So I am super happy with that poll. We got two new reverse rares for the collection. Here is the code card from the last pack. And again, just to recap, we opened up earlier on this stream, the Vmax battle box. Venusaur. We've got the Blastoise one, which I will be opening tomorrow, same time as today. One more time, showing that beautiful jumbo promo card. And then the regular size promo card, which honestly is in great condition, and I might consider even saving to get graded. So 
Thank you to everyone who watched. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Even if it does, you didn't, you can always <laughs> unsubscribe later if you're not feeling it. But it really does just take a second and it really does help. I appreciate everyone who watched and hope you all have an awesome rest of your day.